Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana has um, still been following this correction further, yeah, and uh, it actually made a new low. We were expecting another low, but could still be that it's giving us a more extended way forward. We're taking a look at that right now. Overall, bigger picture, no change. Yeah? So we still are looking here for a potential rally in a third wave next. I give it at least, I give it at least decent odds. Yeah, I mean it is. It is still, um, I, I want to, you know, risky, let's say, to be focused too much on upside in the current market conditions, especially with BTC and ETH expected to go down lower. However, I still give it decent odds to hold this um, $15 support level in this current B wave correction. It's basically the B wave of wave three because we're dealing with a larger diagonal structure here because it has been coming down uh, slower, somewhat slower than some other coins. And it's also holding still above the June low. Nevertheless, in the last few days, it's picked up its downside momentum, which is no surprise uh, after the break of the $20 level, which was um, which was key support, and then a break of the last support level here in uh, on the yeah this 10th of September drop basically, right? So the idea is, um, if you watched the previous videos, you will know that and the count hasn't changed really for a while here in this correction. I think at some point I made a change from an ABC into a WXY structure, but it was just to adjust for, you know, the, the micro movements and uh, it didn't even invalidate anything. So WXY and in this Y wave, we have an ABC and we're probably now in the C wave. That's what we want to look at. In the C wave, we're dealing with five waves and we're currently in the fifth wave. So it could really be the last wave we're dealing with here. I mean, they can always only, ex they can always extend, right? These corrections, you need to understand that they, they can always extend. Um, but obviously what we're using the microstructures for is to understand when the requirements of a count are fulfilled. And I must say now with the latest low that happened here today, the requirements are structurally all fulfilled. So we were waiting for five waves down. That happened now with today's drop. So it's not yet a sustained drop. It's not clear enough yet. I'd like to get it to $17 if possible. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it now. From You know, you can turn around at any time now. Um, it is, it's got a pretty full count. That means it can go up at any time. It doesn't need to. But now I'm watching for bottoming structures, okay, f to, to form. So it's starting to look good. But I'm not, I don't want to make the impression of being bullish here right now because at the moment there is zero bullishness on the lower time frames, very clearly. So the trend is still down. It can easily extend down lower. So I just want to warn about, um, okay, you know, now we've got a full count. Now, you know, why is it not going up? So this can always extend. We're just using the count, first of all, to understand when are the, when do the probabilities go up for a turnaround? But the price always needs to confirm. And then we're using the microstructures to understand when we see the first five wave move to the upside above initial resistance. And initial resistance is now $19. So if we get a small five wave move up above $19, then we have a very first and early indication there that the trend is changing. It would also come with a break outside or to the upside of this descending wedge pattern. But at the moment, there is zero bullishness on the lower time frame. So it can still go down further, especially as there seems to be a little bit of panic around, you know, around FTX selling their coins or whatever, even though I would not overestimate this because they will likely do this over several months, okay? At least weeks and months. And there will be other people who buy these coins and they typically will not move prices too much. Um, they will definitely try to avoid that. Yeah, and um, I mean, typically they would probably even wait with selling their coins until the price has pushed into resistance. I would do that at least, yeah. And then um, when there is some liquidity, they will try to push their coins onto the market so people can um, can uh, can buy it off them, okay, when there's a bit of hype. Yeah, um, um, okay, so yeah, so the expectation would be for it to go down lower. In previous videos, we said, okay, next targets are $18.37, $17.90, and then $17, and the $17 level will be a substantial one. That's uh, at 78.6 retracement. And if it goes below that, we still have here some levels to watch, $16.11, $15.89 at $15. Below $15, I have to change the larger degree, the bigger picture assumption, and it would be a different wave count. But until then, this can just sort of um, continue to go down lower in this B wave, yeah? but it would likely be an extension if it goes down any lower. Um, so $17 would be okay, even with the current microstructure. 
Anything below that, I would have to change the microstructure, but anything below $15 would make me change the overall wave count. But nothing really changed so far, so it's just following the trend at the moment. The trend is down, um, and I have nothing to add really. And we really need to see a first five wave move up after such a drop and a three wave pullback to get a valid idea that the trend is changing. But this is the area where we're now watching very closely, very closely for bottoming structures. And let's take a look at the RSI, the relative strength index on the daily time frame. Now even getting into the oversold region, that is typically quite an interesting signal across many asset classes. Having an oversold reading on the daily RSI is typically pretty good. And remember in the previous videos, we said it's still a bit too, well, not too high, but it can still drop further, yeah? It still allows it to drop a little bit further. So there is plenty of scope still, and it's using that. And we're now getting close to 30. So um, I mean, ideally what I'd like to see typically is some kind of a bullish divergence, but to get that, it would need to make a lower high and a lower low. And then probably we get a higher low on the RSI. Now we don't always get an, um, a bullish divergence on indicators yeah, before turning around, but they are quite frequent. So the fact that we haven't got that at this stage, it might mean that we get an extension down. So it could for, or I mean, what it might be doing, and that's the other possibility, it might simply go higher in the way four still. So this could easily be a flat structure, dep probably depending on what Bitcoin is doing right now. A, B, C, that could still be a flat structure. So it could still be in this um, extended, it would be an expanded flat or a running flat. Yeah, which means that now we could still be in the B wave. At some point, this will not be the case anymore because it will drop too far. And if we go now to 17, then the wave four is already in, which is possible because it already reached the 23.6 FIP level, which is always the minimum expectation for a fourth wave. Yeah? But yeah, it's um, ideally, I mean, this was healthy enough for a wave four. It was, if you compare it to the size of the wave two, it's okay. I guess, but I would still prefer a deeper wave four, I guess. Um, but we'll see, it would have to be a flat structure. These are quite common in a wave four, so I'm definitely observing that. Yeah, that's my update about Sol. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And um, yeah, if you're interested in the membership, check out our links in the description. You get a weekly Sunday live stream. You get access to Discord and Telegram, a lot of learning material about Elliott Wave, technical analysis. You become part of a great community and there is just much more to experience. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.